Hello everyone, it's Zenplace here, and today we're back with another gear build showcase. Today we're going to be going over gear for the Custom Hydra Splatling, otherwise known as the only one that anyone ever uses because it has armor, and the other one has Splashdown, which is not that useful at all. Now, as I was saying, the kit of the Custom Hydra Splatling, it has Ink Mines as a sub, which you don't really want to invest in at all, because they're really only used in niche situations, and you have Ink Armor as the special, which is very good in the current meta for team pushes and... Uh, just kind of helping support your team as a backliner. Now, for this build, as you can see here, this is the build that I'm going to be running. It's 1.3 run speed up, 1.2 uh, MPU, uh, one main of special power up, two subs or 0.2 quick super jump, uh, 0.1 or one sub of ink resistance, and 0.1 or one sub of uh, bomb defense up. So now that I've shown you guys the build, why don't I uh, take him into the training room and talk about why uh, I run the abilities that I run on this build. So first of all, there's the pure front speed up. Now that's just because you don't want to be very, very, very slow as molasses, you know, uh, while you're playing Hydra. Because Hydra without any run speed is pretty slow. I'd say that one pure or 1.3 is probably the minimum amount of run speed that you want to run. Uh, some people opt to run, you know, like 2.3, 2.4. They add subs where they can, uh, but for me, I find that I'm okay with just running uh, up here, so that's really all I run. Uh, now the next is the main MPU or main power up, and this one kind of gets most people because MPU isn't really used too often on splatlings, but for Hydra, it has this uh, glorious effect called damage up. If you didn't know what damage up is, it's exactly in the name, it does more damage. So basically, each shot from the Hydra with 1.2 MPU does 33.3 damage, so 3 shots does 99.9, which makes it effectively a uh, 3 shot. Now, you cannot, uh, what's it called, you cannot boost your damage up to 100 after 3 shots, that's just not the way MPU works. MPU cannot change the amount of shots to kill, so for example, the, uh, you know, the amount of shots needed to kill, so like, it can't make a bamboo a 1 shot, it can't make a pro, I think, a 2 shot. Uh, it just makes it ridiculously close to that, so that's what we're, that's why we're running the MPU. Now, the next is a special power-up. Uh, this is just to invest in your armor, so basically, special power-up with armor, it comes out a bit faster. And uh, this is very important as a Hydra, because you want to spend as much time as you can revved up and firing, really. And, you know, especially if you're canceling, you're using your armor for a quick tank refill, which is what will happen a lot of the time. Uh, you know, you want to make sure that it's quick and you're able to be firing as soon as possible. The tube subs of Quick Super Jump are pretty standard for most backlines, to be honest. They just allow you to jump out when you're in danger, uh, and, you know, they also help you jumping in, but it's not really used for too often for that purpose. And then finally, the one subs. The one sub of Ink Res is just to make sure, again, that you're not very, very, very slow when you're moving through any enemy ink at all, especially when you're running with the Hydra, as it's kind of annoying to have to paint your ground every couple of seconds if you're going through enemy ink. And finally, the one sub of Bomb Defense is just to help your armor survive. So, for those of you that didn't know, one sub of Bomb Defense helps your armor survive a couple of uh, different things, such as, pretty sure it survives uh, two indirect in inkjet shots and like an indirect hit from a bomb or something like that. Uh, I don't know the exact threshold, but basically it makes your armor a lot more useful as it survives a lot more things that are very, very, very frequent and uh, it can be a lot of, you know, it can be pretty useful to you and your teammates because the effect does apply to all of your teammates as well uh, in regards to their armor. So let's take it into a few ranked matches and uh, I'll just a disclaimer here, Hydra is a very map based and you know map specific and mode specific weapon like really i only see it being used in splat zones and on certain longer range maps like the ones that are in rotation right now so yeah let's take it into some ranked matches all right here we are in piranha pit i haven't done my calibrations for the month yet uh it is a new month so you know we'll kind of see how things go here uh, now the nice thing about Hydra on zones as well is that if you do capture your own zone, uh, in this map it's kind of weird, but uh, most people do opt to put, uh, what's it called? Most people do opt to end up putting uh, ink mines on the zone, as they kind of make it really annoying for anyone to actually capture the zone once you've got it. 
So we're starting off the game here. A few of our teammates did get killed, so we're gonna want to play back here and kind of just watch and not give up control over our side, basically, as best as we can. Now, they, if they do end the pushing, you basically just want to keep backing up and uh, pop out every once in a while, shred people, and uh, wait for your teammates to be all back up, and then you'll pop armor. So as soon as he, we you know, we're just gonna pop that. That was a bit early. I was waiting for the pro to respawn, but he was taking a while, so. Yeah. Okay, we, we, hit, we hit him with a few fall-off shots, but nothing really too major. Yeah. Hydra is, like, pretty okay in most situations, but against the double backline comp, it can really struggle, because if one of them pops out when you don't have a charge, then, uh, you know, it's, it's, pre it's a pretty rough situation to come back from. But it is really good at, you know, getting kills with partials and stuff, and you can play it. Uh, like, I, I don't want to say aggressively, because he definitely cannot play it aggressively. Like, that Hydra just got killed because he was in too far. But, um... Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and plant... Uh, here's Armor 2. I'm gonna try and plant Ink Mines down. And then we're gonna kind of play a bit forward here, that way we can be in the range of some people. Although I see the guy over there, so... Ah! Oh, okay. See, the nice thing about Hydra, though, is that... You can pull off some nutty partial kills, like charge up for like around a second, do three shots, and then have a pretty good shot at uh, actually killing them if they're in your ink. Alright, let's try and paint up here, nice. Oh, there's that Hydra, I don't want to get killed by him. Someone moved over there. Oh, okay, or he could just jump down and do that. Yeah, I saw him, and I thought I was safe behind the uh, pillow, but I guess not. Yeah, if, if we want to come back here, we need to pull something together. We need to pull a push together. Because we basically just got wiped. Alright, we're going to sink the armor with the Booyah Bomb here. If you get assists with armor, that's when you know you popped it out at the right time. Alright, let's point our ink mines. We popped armor though. But we have the ink mines. We have your saving grace, not really. I see you, ball point. Okay, yeah, you can manage a trade. This teammate should be safe here. Hopefully. And who's shooting that? Hydra? He has armor. So we gotta back it up. Because we don't. We're not winning that 1v1. Alright. Backing up. Yeah, with Hydra, you basically never want to be very close to anyone at all. Ideally, everyone's in your kill range and you're not in your kill range. That's how you want to play this weapon. I got greedy there for a kill. Luckily, bomb defense helped us live. Alright, that's nice hold. We're gonna hold our armor here until they have any specials that threaten us, in which case we'll pop it out. Actually, they popped out armor, so we're just gonna... Yeah, I'm not really doing much besides holding this flat area over here, although our teammates seem to be... You're doing a pretty good job of pushing up. No, you don't. Not popping that bubble. Ah, they might actually. Oh, I saw the Hydra a bit too late and I tried to get out of partial charge, but... Nah. Okay. There's two pushing the arp flag here. We just need to take the zone from them once. All we need to do really. Or just make sure that they don't have a cap. Yeah, and our teammates look like we got a wipe. So we kinda got carried there. Like a small bit. And by small bit I mean probably a lot actually. But uh, you know, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, Piranha isn't the best map. Like you can definitely run Hydra on Piranha, but Okay, I stand corrected. Half of those were probably armor assists, because as far as kills go, I didn't get many, but you know. <laughs>
we take those. Yeah, Hydra is a very selfish weapon too. Like you'll get you'll get really high KAs, but mostly because half of the picks that you get are just people out of position and they don't mean much, or they're just armor assists. Like those are most of the stats on the end screen. Okay, we are Prana Pit again. Still running this weapon, but uh, let's see how it goes. As always, we're gonna set up up here in case anyone goes for a really ballsy flank. And that charger is gonna be really annoying. Uh, you know, normally you don't see too many chargers nowadays because, like, it's not, you know, that popular of a weapon to use anymore now that Guya and Remix are so good. But uh, okay, yeah, you were you were way too far, dude. Should have backed up. You can say the same thing about our teammate. Although I somehow I got him there. I just need a paint, that's all I need to do, and now the tent's set up, which is a problem. Alright, we're gonna give him armor here, not because it's helpful, just because it's an ink tank refill. That's literally all I used it for there. And now since we're painting, we can push up. How's it feel now that Charger isn't the meta weapon, dude? Okay, we kinda wanna set up in a position in which we're you know, helpful to our team. Uh, so if that stamp comes for zone, yeah. The nice thing about Hydra too is because it shoots so fast, most of the time you can actually just shoot directly at a stamp. Like, even if it's running straight towards you, and you, you probably can kill it. That's like a big probably, but like, I don't have too many doubts on your ability to do that. Why is this dude running ahead of the shield? Okay, you know what? Doesn't matter, because he still forced me off, like here. Okay, he had armor, so that was a different scenario. But, uh, yeah, we were able to break the armor. But, like, it's not- I, I didn't- I should, probably should have realized I had armor. Yeah, but it's not recommended, though, unless they're, like, super far away from you. To just shoot straight at it, like, I- Okay, our team's, teammate's popping off. Oh, yeah, he has a stamp, that's why. Yeah, that. And now their tent's gonna try to take back zone. We have a tent though. So ah. I still I need to work on my fall off with Hydra, because that's one of its strongest parts. Yeah, that's one of its strongest suits. Being able to uh work with fall off. I'm gonna pop on right here. Even though the tent's not alive, I want the ink refill. And it might coax out some other specials from our teammates that are trying to coordinate. Armor is always good to start off with. Ah, uh, there's some over here. There's also stamp. I had armor again, so I'm probably dead. Correction, I'm very dead. I should have jumped. It's fine, because now he's like nowhere. No man's land. Although our team doesn't probably know he's there. So, okay, yeah, there he is. try all you want but you're not gonna get much out of that flank as a kind of ah yeah charger's still proving that it's, it's a usable weapon but yeah. use that quick super jump to get back in here thanks to the teammate for the jump and booyah because somehow they're already three down again actually basically we wiped them there yeah, that tent just got killed on his on his plat. Like, that's the stupid thing about Hydra. You can reach so far that you you'll end up killing a ton of people in areas that they really should not be dying in. And we even just turned around there with a full charge ready and then just annihilated him there. Alright, let's cap some. Let's place down our beacons. Or not beacons, our mines. I wish I had beacons, but Oh wait, there's already mine there. Now they're gonna try and use bomb launcher. And they're using it from a safe spot, so I can't really do much in terms to pressure him. I'm gonna pop armor here for the ink tank refill, although they're already three down, so that was kind of a wasteful armor. And uh, yeah, it's just gonna help us against the charger because we can be super ballsy against him. Or not, I guess. That looks too. We can jump. Here's stamp. That's already dead. Coolio. 
Yeah, they can get a paint zone if they want anything to get done here, but they're not going to get to it. Just because the hide is so good at locking it down. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, we need to do half bad. ignore the fact that we're on 4 out of 10 on the X-Rank rotation. I'd prefer to skip over those other two games. <laughs> but, um, yeah, on, on a so, like, you know, hi Hydra, yeah, that, that's the Hydra Spotling. It's like a pretty, it's an amazing long range support, you know, really insane damage output. I'm sad that, you know, the matches on Triggerfish were not good, but whatever, you know, it, it happens. Yeah, but insane damage output, insane long range support, and, uh, You'll get a lot of mileage out of it if you use it on long range maps such as like Triggerfish, Piranha, and uh, what's, other, what's some other ones? Shellendorf, Albacore. Those four mainly. There's probably a couple others if this can be used on like Manta maybe, but I don't really know on those. So, but yeah. If you guys like this video, leave a like. Comment down below if you have any other weapons that you want me to do a gear build guide on. I'll do it if I can. Mainly I play backline weapons, but you know, I can flex the frontline and other stuff too. I just won't be, you know, obviously the best at it. And uh, if you really want to be notified the next time I upload one of these, make sure to subscribe. But yeah, that's it for today. This is Zen, signing off.